Hey guys, this is Kyle with Apex Audio and I wanted to show you how to load presets into your Axe Effects using the Axe Edit software from Fractal Audio Systems. The first thing you're going to want to do is connect the back of your Axe Effects into your computer or laptop using a USB cable. Make sure everything is powered on and then go ahead and launch the Axe Edit software on your computer or laptop. Uh, you will know it's connected to your Axe FX and they're talking to each other by this right here in the corner, green check mark connected. You'll most likely come to a screen that has a preset loaded into it and, and it won't be empty. So you'll either want to navigate to an empty preset or go ahead and clear a preset that you'd like to overwrite. And before we actually load the preset, we'll go into the tools tab, go to Axe Manage, and from there, you'll navigate to an empty user cap slot. I, I have all mine here from my Apex Audio Packs. But you can go ahead, click on one, right click, and go Import. And you can navigate to a folder that has the cab you're looking for. I'm going to be uh, loading the Deathcore Volume 8 Rhythm Cab. Go Open. You'll notice that it's in red text here with a red dot. And that's just letting you know that you need to save that to your cab list before you go ahead and navigate out of this window. So we're green, we're good to go, close. We're still looking at an empty preset uh, window here. So let's go ahead, navigate up to preset and go import preset. You'll wanna go to the folder that has the preset that you wanna load. I'm loading the Deathcore Volume 8 Rhythm Guitar preset from Apex Audio. After that's done loading, we're going to want to make sure that this cab block is talking to the right file that we want. So this is my Axe FX, so it's already pointing in the right direction, but we'll go ahead and uh, point it to the cab that we just loaded. All right, we got it there. So you can go ahead and start playing, but before you get too carried away, don't forget to save the preset here. Uh, any fine tuning you do as well, that's perfectly acceptable. This is a fully custom preset from one of my, uh, from my Deathcore pack from Apex Audio. Uh, and any change you do, you wanna make sure that you're gonna save it. But I wanna give a couple of troubleshooting tips to my Axe FX3 users. The first one being the amp blocks here. Uh, I have had feedback from some users of my Apex Audio Axe FX packs that uh, in order to get the preset to work correctly, you may have to reset these amp blocks to default. Uh, and, and what that means for me at least is deleting the amp block and then reloading the, uh, the 5150 red setting amp uh, and the FAS Modern 3 amp in this case. Uh, I don't want you to worry too much. The, uh, the amp blocks themselves uh, don't usually stray too far from the default. I don't usually customize these blocks. Uh, a lot of the tone comes from the cab block, the IR that I build from this preset and the uh, EQ settings that further fine tune the tone. The second default uh, uh, troubleshooting method for you there, sorry, second uh, troubleshooting method is actually having to restore the overdrive block to default. So that for me, that means deleting the drive block and reinstating it. I'm using the T808OD overdrive uh, for almost every single preset I have. And uh, with the zero drive and 10 for the tone there. Uh, so th those are the only two troubleshooting options I have for my Axe FX3 people. I hope that helps you out. And I hope this helps out everyone in general for loading pre uh, presets into your Axe FX. Thank you very much and good luck. Bye.